Okay, nice work, guys. That was what's commonly known as a nightmare, so well done. Let's get going. Master, why have you summoned me? Without my battle meditation, there is a chance the Republic capital ships could break through and attack the Starforge itself. This will not take long, Bastula. You will be able to resume your battle meditation soon enough. I only wanted you to know that Revan is here on the Starforge. Revan? But... The Force is bringing us towards a confrontation with my old master. The Starforge has drawn our enemies together. So they may all die in a single glorious day. You must kill Revan to prove yourself worthy of being my apprentice, Bastila. You must finish what began in the Rakatan Temple. Yes, Lord Malak. I sense your fear, Bastila, but it is unfounded. The power of the Starforge will feed the dark side within you. It will give you the strength you need to defeat my old master. Stay here in the command center while you use your battle meditation against the Republic fleet. Revan will find you here in due time. It is inevitable. Of course, Master. I will not fail you again. you will triumph, Bastula. But even if you fail, it will give me the time I need to complete my preparations of the station's defenses. And then we shall see if Revan can stand against the full fury of the Starforge. <laughs>
Max shooting his own troops like fodder at this point. Wave after wave of his own men just being thrown at us. Gather up any medical supplies they have and let's keep moving. We must be getting close. Got him scared. Troopers. Watch your back where there's troopers that usually sit the premises. You asked for this! There they are. Cars behind you. Starforge somehow starting to produce humans as um, on its production lines instead of just droids and ships. Wonder how the fight's going outside. More. barrier they put on this door. Although I'm slightly worried about what's behind it. Ah. Uh. 
fast enough. Revan, I knew you'd come for me. I'll never give up on you, Bastila. You know, I know you can still be saved. You're wasting your time. I have seen the Jedi for what they are. Weak and afraid. The Sith are the true masters of the Force. You've forgotten that lesson, Revan. Now you must pay the price. Here on the Star Forge, the power of the dark side is at its strongest. This time, you will not defeat me. We'll see. I see now why Malak followed you. Even though you're only a shell of your former self, you're still a formidable opponent. I can't even imagine the power you must have wielded when you were the Dark Lord. You were a fool to give it all up and follow the light side. Um... I'm as strong as the light as I ever was following the dark. The dark side has made me stronger than I ever was before. I have a greater command of the Force than all but the most powerful Jedi Masters. As Malak teaches me the greatest secrets of the Sith, I will unlock more of my potential. Eventually, there'll be no limit to what I can accomplish with the Force. Malak would never let you become that powerful. He would kill you first. Have you forgotten the ways of the Sith already, Revan? Eventually, I will challenge my master. If I am worthy, he will die by my hand, and I will become the new Sith Master. Then I will take on my own apprentice, and the cycle will begin again. This is the way of the Sith. It is how we assure our leaders are always the strongest and most worthy. You're dooming yourself to an endless cycle of death and betrayal. No, Revan. It is you who are doomed. You know, we can just keep repeating the same dance over and over and over again. You're outmatched by me, and you know it. You're growing weary. I can sense it. Your strength falters. The light side is failing you while the power of the Star Forge re energizes me. Soon this will all be over. I have not faltered, Bastila. You've been misled by the dark side. The dark side will always triumph over the light. Malak has assured me of victory. You can't defeat me here on the Star Forge. You can't. Let's make this quick. Yeah, I agree. This should be quick. <laughs> Sorry. No. This is not possible. You have rejected the dark side. You are a weak and pathetic servant of the light. How can you still stand against me? Why can't I defeat you? You see now that the dark side is not stronger than the light. Yes, I see you speak the truth. I'm no match for you. Please, for the sake of what we once shared, do not make me suffer. End my life quickly. There is no other way. I can't kill you, Bastila. What other choice do you have? I have fallen to the dark side. I am the apprentice to the Dark Lord himself. You cannot let me live. I was redeemed, Bastila. You can be too. You were a special case. The Council had no other choice. They needed you alive so they could discover the location of the Star Forge. It was an act of desperation. It was my responsibility to watch over you, to make sure you did not slip back into your evil ways. I was supposed to protect you from the dark side. You did more than protect me, Bastila. It's true I possess feelings for you. But was it only an illusion brought about by our bond? And what was the cost? Please, the 
This is too painful. End it now, quickly. There is no other way. I love you, Bastila. I can't abandon you. Not here. You love me. There was a time I yearned for, and yet dreaded to hear those words. I loved you too, but I could never face who you were. Malak knew how I felt. Any part of the light that was within me would be extinguished when I killed you. But what good is love? It cannot save me from the sea of blackness I am drowning in. I have betrayed everything I ever believed in. How can I atone for that? Help us defeat the Sith here. This will atone for what you've done. Yes. I could join you in your battle against the Dark Lord. That alone would not make up for all I have done. Yet it would be a step in the right direction. But how would you be able to trust me? How do you know I wouldn't turn on you when you face Darth Malak? How do you know the dark side wouldn't make me betray you again? I trust you enough to leave myself open to your attack, Bastard. You play a dangerous game. Are you certain you wish to take this risk? I could end your life and gain Malak's favor with a single stroke of my lightsaber. You won't, Bastler. Because I love you, and I believe in you. You are brave, and some would say foolish. But you were also right. The dark side has not wholly consumed me. I cannot raise my blade against you. You will go on to defeat Malak. Of this I have little doubt. He will have gone from being the Sith Lord himself to the savior of our galaxy. And you said you loved me. This may not be the best time to say it, but I love you too, with all my heart. You aren't afraid of that anymore? After this? No. Nothing could make me feel safer than to be loved by you. You should go. Malak awaits. This isn't over yet. For any of us. I should stay here, though. If we face Malak, I am afraid his dark presence will overwhelm me. It would not be wise to expose myself to such temptation. Could you use your battle meditation to aid the Republic fleet? Yes, that would be for the best. You don't need me to defeat Malak anyway. Now I understand that a true Jedi is a match for any Sith, even the Dark Lord himself. I will stay here in this chamber and use my battle meditation to aid the Republic fleet. I am their only hope of destroying the Starforge and ending the Sith menace. You must go and face Malak, but you have to hurry. Once I turn the battle in the Republic's favor, we won't have much time to escape the Starforge before it's destroyed. Good luck, my love, and may the Force be with you. Break in the Sith formations. Green Squadron, move in. Green Squadron, moving in. Green Squadron's through. We've broken their lines. Bastila is no longer using her battle meditation against us. The tide has turned. Red Squadron, into the breach. Capital ships, reinforce their position. Now's our chance. Get back to Starforge with everything we've got. Good luck, Master. The others will be all right.
with all this? for me here, and this time you will not escape. It's either who can't escape, Malak. Surrender and the Jedi might show you some mercy. Is that what you call it? You think stripping away your power and your identity was an act of mercy, Revan? I would rather die. That, that can be arranged. <laughs> you are such a fool, Revan. You claim to be a Jedi, yet you feed on anger and hate. But even the power of the dark side cannot save you now. You are an insignificant speck beneath my notice. I have surpassed you in every way and accomplished what you never could. I have unleashed the full potential of this Rakatan factory. You had no idea of the power within this place. Its very walls are alive with dark side energies. And now, my old master, I will let the Star Forge itself destroy you. What 
is this? Droids weren't all that impressive. I was certain the defenses of the Starforge would destroy you. But I see there is more of your own self in you than I expected. You are stronger than I thought. Stronger than you ever were during your reign as the Dark Lord. I did not think that was possible. This is your last chance, Malik. Surrender. No, Revan. This time our confrontation can only end in death. Yours or mine. Once again, we shall face each other in single combat. And the victor will decide the fate of the galaxy. You sure about this? Last time we faced each other like this, I cut off your jaw. Continue to amaze me, Revan. If only you had been the one to uncover the true power of the Starforge, you might have become truly invincible. But you were a fool. All you saw was an enormous factory. All you ever imagined was an infinite fleet rolling forth to crush the Republic. You are blind, Revan. Blind and stupid. What are you talking about? The Starforge is more than just a space station. In some ways, it is like a living creature. It hungers, and it can feed on the dark side that is within all of us. Look around you, Revan. See the bodies? You should recognize them from the Academy. These are Jedi who fell when I attacked Dantooine. For all intents and purposes, Dead, except for one difference. I have not let them become one with the Force. Instead, I have brought them here. The Star Forge corrupts what remains of their power and transfers the Dark Taint to me. You cannot beat me, Revan. Not here on the Star Forge. Not when I can draw upon the power of all these Jedi. And once you are beaten, I will do the same to you. You will be trapped in a terrible existence between life and death. Your power feeding me as I conquer the galaxy. We'll see. Because I rather doubt it. Ah! <laughs> 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 
Ha! Ha! 
Why? Why? Okay, listen. Let's just have a talk. Stand on that, will you? Stay there. Okay, do that.
Oh my god, why? Who gave you a stunning ability? Hi, Malik. Oh, of course, it's still impossible to be Yeah. 
could, you know, die, that would be ideal. <laughs> 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 Oh my god. What, were you just playing with me on the Leviathan? What the hell? <clears throat> Not that I think this is going to work, but... Just die! Stay down! Im <laughs> Impossible. I... I cannot be beaten. I am the Dark Lord of the Sith. The... This is the way of the dark side though, Malak. All things end in death. Still... <laughs> still spouting the wisdom of the Jedi, I see. Maybe there is more truth in their code than I ever believed. I... I cannot help but wonder, Revan, what would have happened had our positions been reversed? What if fate had decreed I would be captured by the Jedi? Could I return to the light as you did? <laughs> if you had not led me down the dark path in the first place, what destiny would I have found? I'm sorry I started you on this path. But you chose to continue down. I suppose... I suppose you speak the truth. 
I alone must accept responsibility for my fate. I wanted to be master of the Sith and ruler of the galaxy. But that destiny was not mine, Revan. <laughs> it might have been yours, perhaps. But never mine. And in the end, as the darkness takes me, I am nothing. There you are. What happened? Darth Malak is dead. It's over. Finally. Whew. That's wonderful news. There's no time to celebrate just yet. I was able to use my battle meditation to allow the Republic to break through the Sith fleet. The capital ships are in bombardment range. And that means we all have to get out of here right now before this entire complex comes down around our ears. Everyone else is already on the ship. Let's move. Get aboard now, quick. Everyone pull back. I don't want to lose any ships when that space station goes down. We did it, Vandar. The Sith are routed, and the Starforge destroyed. But at what cost, Admiral? Where is the Ebon Hawk and her crew? the victory party without us, Admiral. I'm sending an honor guard to escort you in. You'll be getting a hero's welcome when we all get home. Talk about cutting it close, Garth. You could have got us off there a hell of a lot quicker, thank you. You have defeated Malik, destroyed the Starforge, and broken the spirit of the Sith. For this, I am proud to present you each with the Cross of Glory, the highest honor the Republic can bestow. From Coruscant to the farthest reaches of the Outer Rims, you will be known as the Saviors of the Republic. On behalf of the Jedi Council, defenders of the galaxy, and sworn protectors of the Republic, I, too, would like to honor you for your actions. We Jedi now have another tale to weave into the grand history of our eternal order. The redemption of Revan, the prodigal knight. Wherever you go, 
You will be recognized as the saviors of the galaxy, the heroes of our age. But you must remain ever vigilant, for one day you may be called upon yet again to defend the glory of the Republic against the tyranny of the dark side. This is the destiny of the Jedi. Whew. So. Hello there, I am actually here. That was Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, the original Bioware game, quite possibly the best Bioware game that there is. Uh, frustrating as hell, battle with Malak. Um, extremely difficult mechanics, he had a stun lock that was just designed to piss me off. Uh, but still, I really love this game. The story it tells, Revan's one of the best Star Wars characters in my opinion. Um, but yeah, I, and the end there, I had to skip the end credits to avoid copyright issues with the series. Um, so, that's a bit unfortunate, but you can see why I did it, because Disney are very funny. So even if I'd been, you know, told originally, oh, you can't have that, they still freak out with, um, visuals, and they may make the, they may make the whole video like not available if I'd left it so decided just to play it safe and skip that um, but yeah beyond that not entirely sure what series is coming next but uh, we shall see hope you enjoyed this one if you did why not give it a like and subscribe for more just like it and I will see you guys next time on the Kilted Gamers